What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to make a hold interaction with a key. We're gonna be using the new enhanced input system on the 5.1, so let's get started. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on Winbox. So the first thing that we have to do is go and create the new input key. So let's go ahead into third person and you will see that in input we have a folder called actions. And now we can go ahead and store all of our actions here. Now, of course, if you're using any other template, you can use your own one. Let's go ahead and right click, go into input, create a new input action. So normally we call this EA because it's like the prefix. Now I do have a tutorial on how to get started with the new enhanced input system so i will be linking in the description so now what we want to do is just put for example i don't know interact right <clears throat> you can call it whatever you want for what you want now if we go ahead and double click it on him um, in here we I will actually not assign the key but we'll do that later on in a thing called the collection now there's a few things that we have to change over here first of all make sure that of course consume input is on this is just pretty much enabling the input and then you can Put trigger and pause so when the game is uh, you know, pause or whatever you can also interact with it this depending on what you do and then there's a few things that we don't have to touch like for example we want to leave the value type to be a bull basically on or off now in triggers is the thing that we're going to change so let's go ahead and add a new trigger and now you will see that we have a whole list of different trigger options created for us now the one that we want to use is hold now you have many other things right now there's also hold and release where uh, you need to hold it and then release it so that's when it will trigger but what i'm going to do is just say hey once you hold it for one second or whatever you say then it will go ahead and uh trigger it so let's go ahead and uh enter that and now here you can change the time that it will uh you will need to hold so now with that said we can go ahead and save and now we need to go back into the uh, that are collection so here is basically where we got all of the inputs on here and with this assigned key so we just have to add a new one and then find the interact one that we have just grabbed then here we can just press this uh, button over here and then press the key that we want to uh interact with in my case or you can just search it here but i think it's easier like that and you can just put uh whatever you want here now you also have the option to override and put more triggers and modifiers here but i do recommend doing so inside the proper input action All right so now we can go ahead and save everything and close it now if we go into the third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using now make sure that of course you are adding the mapping into the blueprint so you can use the inputs i'm gonna find space over here and we want to use the ea underscore interact it's gonna be the first one the enhanced action events the one with the arrow basically now we have a lot of you know different options trigger starter etc so the one that we want to basically you know, use our uh, things on, <laughs> if I'm expressing correctly, is going to be on trigger. So of course, triggered is going to be triggered when, you know, we are uh, pressing and the timer went from that threshold. So we go ahead and, for, for example, print string. After one second of just holding it, it will print. Now, start is basically when you start, you know, pressing the key ongoing cancel there are a few different things and then completely when you stop um holding the key so i go more detailed on this in my beginner tutorial now if i go ahead and press play you can see that when i press t and right now holding it nothing is happening but now that you know a second happened you can see all of the hello uh prints now the thing is that i am still holding the key so if i go ahead and release it it will go now the thing is that you know it is constantly spamming the key even though i'm you know you're still holding it but we don't want that we don't want that if you're still holding it it will continue doing so so what we want to do is go back into here input action we wanted to do it into the interact and now we have this option which is is one shot which is exactly what we want and it's just basically once it is triggered it will stop so now when i press play you can see that again uh cold trigger and then it will print it only once so go ahead and quickly use do some simple interface let's go ahead and go into user interface with your blueprint wb underscore interacting <coughs> and the thing they're going to do is go ahead and find a canvas 
in the palette we can go ahead and drag it now we can drag things on here so what we want to do is just get a text on the center of the screen and what we want to do is just put everything into zero all right except the size here <coughs> want to put like 120 something like that and then alignment 0.5 and then 0.5 so we perfectly in the middle a bit bigger and then we can put this on interacting dot 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 Wait, dot 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 there we go yeah simple you know of course you can change it to be like a progress bar that fills up but this is just a quick example and now what we can do is go into the third person blueprint and on started we can go ahead and create this widget so when we start pressing the key so this is going to be the, what was the interacting? <clears throat> and now we can go ahead and basically add it into the viewport. And now I think that we have to do first is right click, promo to variable. It's going to be the interacting UI. So we need to have a reference to it because we have to basically delete it later. So now that we have all this <coughs> uncompleted, we can just get the interacting UI and basically right click and convert it to validate get. So basically, just in case uh, it didn't create properly, whatever, it will not give us an error. So if it does exist, we will go ahead and just remove from parent, uh, which is here. <clears throat> and then set this variable to be false. Basically, it's just deleting the, um, the widget. So now when I go here and press play, now when I hold T, you will see interacting. And then once it is released, now it says hello. And of course, in here, you will do whatever you actually want for example instead of printing hello i can say jump <laughs> and the character will jump so if i go here <clears throat> press play, hold t interacting and then it will jump so you know go ahead and put whatever you want here if you're gonna open a chest do so with an interface or whatever you need etc so that's it guys if you found it tutorial useful and helpful i would really appreciate you to like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so go ahead and check them out join my discord server and follow me in all my socials such as twitter and uh, instagram so yes with that said bye bye